Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Happy with another video and this time I'm going to demo how to set up your Spaces site. So we've already went through how to go to Spaces, uh, W3 School Spaces, Spaces, how to access it. We went over how to actually set up, um, how to get a Spaces account, but now we're gonna go through setting up our first site. So here's the deal. You're gonna pretend this doesn't exist. So yours is gonna look like mine. If you get the 499 plan, I don't know what the other plan looks like. I would assume it looks the same with just more options, but in any event, um, this is the 499 plan. We're gonna pretend that this is gone, but even if you have the free plan, I think it looks the same except for you don't have this bottom part about free plan, but that's okay. So we have the spaces set up. You will have no spaces. So remember, it's not like I have no spaces. And to create a new space, which just means your domain, right? So this one that I deleted, I had set this one up just for my students. It says happy students. And then it would be dot W3, what is it? W3spaces.com. Um, and that would be my domain. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to create a space. See that right there? I'm going to click on that. And then inside of here, if you want to start from a template, you can. I'm not going to start from a template. I'm going to start from a blank slate because I have a site that one of my students created and I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to go here where it says start with the blank page. I'm going to click that and I'm going to hit continue. So when I do this, it's going to ask me, what do I want to name this? So I could say demo. Um, demo.w3spaces.com. That works, right? It is a demo. All right, so I'm going to hit continue. Ah, it's not available. All right, demo, I'll say student-demo. So student-demo.w3spaces.com. I'm going to hit continue. And so now I have the space and this is what it looks like, right? And it's going to tell me that the space is created. So it also tells me what the website is for this. So this is the site I would give to someone else. HTTPS colon four slash four slash exactly what I named it. Student dash demo dot W3 spaces.com. That's always going to be your domain. It's always going to be whatever you name it. And then dot W3 spaces.com. It's kind of cool. All right. So it gives me the information on it. But what I want to do is I actually want to create, and you can go over here to these three dots just so that you know that they're here. Um, you can show your files, get a domain, reset the space, or delete the space. I deleted the space. This is why you see this here. And it does delete, and it tells you when um, your space will be available. So mine, March 3rd, 2022, will be when this actually gets deleted. But for now, I don't want to delete I just clicked into it. I didn't mean to click into it yet. So to click into it, several ways I can do. If I click on the link, it's going to take me to the actual link. If I click on the student demo, it's going to take me into the site. Um, so I'm going to click on that. And now I'm in here in my pages. So it automatically has a defaulted index.html file. You can either click on that and um, copy and paste, but no, I'm going to upload files. So this file I'm eventually going to delete and this file I'm going to delete. And I want to delete those because I don't want to confuse the system because I already created a file inside of um, Dreamweaver and I can show you. Um, and I'm still using Dreamweaver. I know some people are like, oh, I hate that. Why are you using Dreamweaver? It's okay. But the file structure that I have, let me minimize this a little bit. All right, so the file structure that I have, don't look at my desktop, don't you judge me. All right, the file structure that I have is this one right here. And so I have a website, um, and then inside of this website, and this is a student site, by the way, um, she, was think she was awesome enough to let me borrow her site. So I have the about um, CSS inside of a CSS folder. I have this images inside of an images folder. And I have these files down here. I'm going to do this to bring this over just a little bit because I'm actually going to need to be able to reference this. So I'm just going to bring this down here and I'll put the site right next to it and make it a little bigger like that. Okay, so that works. Yeah, 
That works. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start building this site out. But I see these folders. And if I look here, the only thing I can upload is files. So I cannot upload a um, full folder. But I could zip it, which is the fastest way, and then unzip it up here. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is... I know that I have these two folders, the CSS folder and the images folder. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to make two folders for that. So I'm going to click on new folder. The first folder, I'm going to name it exactly like it's here. So if it is CSS lowercase, name it that. If it is CSS uppercase, name it that. If you have mixed case, name it that. But it needs to be named exactly like it is here so you don't confuse um, the system. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type CSS, all lowercase, because that's how it is here. Click create folder. Next, it tells me that a folder was created. That's awesome. I'm going to do another one. So another new folder, and I'm going to name this one images exactly like it is here. It is all lowercase. So I'm going to do images and I'm going to hit create folder. So now I have those two folders. It tells me that it was created, which is sweet. I can also see that it's created over here. What I'm going to do next is, I, like I said, I know I don't need this index.html and I don't need the CSS folder file, but I'm going to delete them after I bring stuff in. That's just taboo. Nothing will happen. I just, I just, you know, I'm just scared. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to upload files and then I'm going to navigate to where that folder is. It is inside of downloads. I don't know why we are frozen. I tell you, weird things just happen when you're live. I don't know why. Hang on. It's frozen. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm just going to go over here and click on. Nope, still frozen. Hmm. Not quite sure. There's not a dialog box behind here. So I don't know why that's happening. Let me see if I, I can't even cancel it. Hmm. So just so you know, I did this seamlessly a second ago. Um, and yeah, I'm going to pause until we figure this out. Hang tight. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some images. So I'm going to just go ahead and actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab some files. All right. So I'm going to go up here to upload files. And then I'm going to go to back to inside of our website. I'm going to go and grab my work, facts, um, index. You know what? I can just go ahead and grab them all. I'm going to hold my command key. I'm sorry. Yeah. Command on the Mac. It would be uh, control on a PC. Uh, beverage images. And I'm going to grab that CSS. So I'm going to grab all the files at once. You guys see how I did that? I have the images folder open. With it open, I can access the files. And I have the CSS folder open. With it, I can access the files. All right. So now I'm going to hit open. And it's going to work in the background. It's going to pull all these files out. So I'm going to have all the files together um, working for me, which is kind of cool. Click that and check it. Boom. All right. So all the files are uploaded. I can see them if I scroll over here. So what I'm going to do is see if it allows us to drag and drop. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to see if I can grab this. Okay. So drag and drop is not an option with this one, but I think I can move it. Yep, I can move it to a folder. So I'm like, highlight, let's see if I can highlight multiple ones. You know what, let's put it to the test. Doesn't look like it, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna move this to the, um, to the images folder. So I'm gonna click on move to folder and it gives me my structure and I can click on images and I can move it and it moves that item in there. It's funny, I almost think it's faster to just download each one into its file 
Um, I could just download three images. That's okay. Let's try this. All right, so I'm gonna move it to images here, and I got one more. This uh, PNG. Click on it. Move to folder and images right here. Move. Okay. All right. So I have all images in the images folder, and the last thing that I need to move is the CSS, which is about me css so i'm gonna click on the three dots i'm gonna move the folder and i'll move that to the css folder and all items are moved so the next thing that i need to do um is i'm gonna delete this index.html file so i'm gonna go over here to the three dots i'm gonna click delete and i'm gonna delete it and then i'm gonna go to the style slash css click on the three dots again i'm gonna click delete and delete it and so now i need to go ahead and change the name of this one so i'm gonna go over here to more i'm gonna go to rename and i'm gonna just make this index.html it came in as a copy because there was already an index file in there so i'm gonna hit rename okay and notice the star shows because remember that index.html that's the pathway to your site the browser is already programmed to know, hey, this is the home page. So that's what you're going to always make the home page. Okay. So I have all of these set up for me now, right? So I just put the file up. So now what should happen if I click on this to go to the link, I should see a website. We'll see. I'm going to click on that. Of course, it being a demo. Now it is not working right. Okay. So I need to see what's going on with that. If I had anything CSS, okay. Let me go to my home page. Okay, so now I need to check and see what's going on with that. So I'm gonna go to, I know I did make a few changes. That's always dangerous to do. I'm gonna go to this pencil and I'm going to, okay, yep. So the few changes that I made inside of Dreamweaver without saving first is I changed the case of the CSS folder, but this is good that it happens because now you know how to fix stuff. So I changed the name of the CSS folder. I made it all lowercase. So I'm going to change it. Remember I said everything has to match. So I'm going to change that to CSS to be lowercase. And I also made changes to the images folder. Let's see. There are no images on this page. All right. Let's see what type of changes this made real quick. If we can read the CSS, so I'm gonna go back to the site where we have. I'm gonna refresh it. All right, now we got our um, CSS working. Okay, and we got our images working. All right, sweet. So that is how you're going to bring your file in. Now, these videos didn't go over how to create a website. I do have videos on how to do that. And I will link those um, to the video later. I'm still actually, they were prepped for students. So I'm still trying to decide if I wanna create new ones or if I want to just show those. But I might just create a new video showing how to create um, websites. But if you'd like to see that and you're like, yeah, do that, let me know, right? Give me the comments, say, yo, please create a new um, website so we can see how to create a website. But this is how you set up your um, files, how you upload them to W3 schools, and how you get them to display. Um, so uh, if you liked it, give me a like. If you uh, like the content that you're seeing on here, subscribe. Um, if you want to tell me about it, which would be cool, let me know. Um, put it in the comments. And, you know, anything helps uh, with the algorithm. If you said, hey, you know what? I got a friend who could benefit from this. Please, yes, share. All right. Um, that is your video for tonight. Hopefully you guys learned something new and enjoyed it. Um, until next video, ta-ta for now.